got your bottle pistol, yeah, got dirty rounds in it. Pull up at your mama house and put some rounds in it. Wet a nigga block and watch them niggas drown in it. Honey round drawn, and a nigga down with it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We're pulling up at the Bunny Company. I'm finna go get my title. I don't know if I'm gonna do any bounties today or not. But I might vlog my day. I think I'm gonna hit the gym or whatever. Uh, but finna get ready to go. Pick up my title. To my truck, the one that we seized from um that fugitive. So I can uh take criminals to jail in it. I mean I've already been driving it. Uh since they cleared it. I've already been driving it. I've took a couple criminals. I took that uh the dude and his brother to jail in it. So I'm finna get ready to go on the bonding company now. And then look at this guy pulling up right here. <laughs> but y'all know I got a strong team, boy. I'm finna do my thing. Alright. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Bounty Hunter Gator. Check me out. So, uh, just left the Bunny Company. They let me know that, uh, not the Fugitive, but the Fugitive brother took a warrant out on me. Uh, y'all seen that video. I wound up locking the Fugitive up. No, y'all didn't see that video. I didn't post that video. Okay, I didn't post that video. The Fugitive, I wound up locking him and his brother up. Um, I broke the guy's finger. The guy disrespected me. He thought he knew more laws than I did. Um, then I guess he took a warrant out on me. When I got to the bonding company this morning, they let me know that, hey, this guy right here took a warrant out on you. Take your team with you. So I got my team behind me. Y'all see that, uh, this is Suburban behind me. That's my, uh, new Suburban. But, uh... So, uh, right now I'm finna, uh, go take care of this little situation right here. Uh, the only thing I was telling y'all about, mo the only thing a bounty hunter really can get in trouble for is excessive force. That's like the only rule that they really, really take addendum to is that excessive force. And, uh, like, you know, personally, police officer, ain't nobody... You know, legit bounty hunter doing that kind of crazy stuff like that. Ain't nobody bounty hunter stealing no little change out of the house or nothing like that. Because I don't heard people accuse me of that, but it don't make it no well because, man, we get big money off turning you in. Like, we ain't got time for that. So, uh, but yeah, let's go handle this situation. I'm going to record as much as I can at the courtroom because I don't know how legal or illegal that is. So I ain't trying to be on that bad side. But uh, I'm going to let y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all stay on the road with me. Find out how to So, remember, I was telling y'all, there's only a couple things you can get in trouble for. And that's for aggressive force when you're a bounty hunter. So, let's go in here and get this taken care of. All right, hunters and hunterettes. I'm giving y'all some slick visions of the inside of the courtroom. Y'all know who it is, your boy, Bounty Hunter Gator. Alright, you two, because y'all know they drop all the charges. Everything drop. Y'all see a white piece of paper right here. That means everything drop. Everything good, y'all. I'm about to the gate. I'm still top. But now I'm going to post the video because I'm upset. What's good, you two? You know who it is? It's your boy Gator. Uh, 22. So look, check this out. Uh, I apologize because I ain't been shooting videos lately. I've been working with the uh, Popo. Not working for, let's just get that already clear, okay? I've been working with them on a certain case uh, where they couldn't find somebody. Um, and I want to find the guy. Because last time um, I had a bounty, I called Popo. They came out. They stole my guy. I didn't get paid. Long story short, if 12 haul them in, I don't get paid. So... This time, I decided to work along them, not to be treacherous, but I'm going to take the guy and I'm going to take him in custody, no matter how they feel about it. It is what it is. So, uh, I've been working with them, so I haven't been able 
to post any videos, and I definitely can't post any footage of them because uh, I I don't know whatever the rights is. So anyway, but um, I did a bounty with my team after that. Uh, I don't really post my team like that uh, unless I get my own team where I'm the chief of the team. You know, instead of me, you know, working small in and just doing uh, skip tracing or whatever the case may be, then uh, I post some of those videos. But uh, right now, let me tell you what we're dealing with. Basically, I've been looking for a guy for two days. This is day number three. Uh, I haven't been able to find him. Day two, when I couldn't find him, I contacted his brother, let him know, hey, you bundled him out. If I can't find him, then I'm going to uh, impound your car and take your car, so, um, his brother didn't heed to that, he gave me a false, uh, a place where he had been, it was cameras there, so no cameras picked him up, so, you know, I kind of got upset about that, uh, I told his brother, don't worry about it, I'll find him in the future, that's just to throw them off, I've been by his brother's job today, apparently he didn't go to work today, I've been staking out the house, nobody has been at the house, so what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to take his brother's car. Listen, I always get my mans. I'm going to take his brother's car. And uh, if he don't produce his brother within 30 days, which it'll never take me 30 days to find somebody. But if it does, if he doesn't produce his brother in 30 days, I legally get to keep the car. The car is legally mine. Just like if you put up a house, um, that house legally becomes ours if we can't, you know, found it. most of the time. The abundant company will keep it if it's something that they don't feel like is worth um, their give or take. Then they'll let us bounty hunters get, you know, first grabs at it. Uh, so uh, we're going to get it today. Uh, you know, you can always depend on me. Oh, other, uh, another thing, another thing, uh, not to make this a Babylon video, but another thing is um, people have been hitting me up. Uh, about some questions. I did my questionnaire video um, yesterday. No, that wasn't yesterday. When it was? That was about a week ago, wasn't it? I did my questionnaire video. I didn't post it. I post that video today. Y'all will see this video in the near future. I don't do videos and post them the same day. Like, it takes time editing and all that thing so I can cut things out, put things in. You know, that type of figure of speech. But uh, in my questionnaire video... It was said that uh um um that I didn't answer a question and the question was how do I feel like I'm successful with a marked car because my car is marked if you ever seen my car I'll show you clips of the car if you seen my car you know my car is marked so uh what I what I did was I told them well I told them back in their uh DM but I'm going to answer it for the public the reason my car is marked is because, yes, with an unmarked car, it would be easier to catch a fugitive in certain situations. You got to understand certain situations, okay? The situation that I'm going to bring forward is good and bad. Here's the good and bad. Say I'm going into a neighborhood like, um, I don't know if y'all been in Thomasville Heights, uh, McKinnonville, Bankhead, uh, these are things in Georgia that I'm naming because I'm filming this one in Georgia. So let's say I'm going in, into those neighborhoods and I have an unmarked car. I'm liable to get shot up going in that neighborhood and out that neighborhood. Those are the type of things I would do with my team. When I'm with my team, I don't even drive my personal car. I ride in the unmarked cars with my team. That's a different scenario. Now, let's say I go in the neighborhood with my marked car. To some of those people, they know, oh, he's a bounty hunter. He's looking for somebody that's wanted. They don't pay me no mind. If they want it, then they pay me some mind. But then they don't even know if I'm coming for them or if I'm coming for a whole nother wanted person or not. You know, understand? Because most people look for the Pacific Bunning Company. I'm on. I'm a third party. You know, I'm Baywatch Consultants. I'm, I'm a third party. So... When we come get you, you just see, okay, that's that's not the bun the company that bun to me. I, I don't have nothing to worry about. Pop up, bing, bing, I got you. You know, I get my bread. Most people look for the bun the company that bunded them out. Uh, also, with a marked car, when 12 pulls up, they know 
Who's the good guy and who's the bad guy? If I'm chasing somebody and 12 rams my car, starts shooting at me, I ain't trying to die. Not by 12 anyway. A lot of people be talking about people dying by 12 and certain lives matter and black lives, white lives, Chinese lives. All lives matter to me. You feel what I'm saying? So we're just going to start it there. But it's a lot of black people dying. I ain't trying to be one of those. Next thing that I'm going to put out there is with a marked car, uh, if you assault a bounty hunter or if you assault a process server, because y'all know I do process serving too, if you assault one of those, it carries the same amount of time as assault on a peace officer. So what I'm saying is if I pull up in my marked car, you know who I am. You cannot go to court and say, I did not know that he was a bounty hunter, blah, 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 skips, blah, 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 blah. No, got him. You cannot go and say that you did not know who I was. It's not going to work, okay? That's what I'm always going to let you know who I am. Even when I'm in a store and I'm undisguised, when I walk up on you, I'm going to pull the badge from under my shirt, okay? Fugitive age of recovery. Under my shirt, I'm going to pull it, okay? You know, today I got my... I got my, you know, hunt humans hat on. I'm finna get ready to take that off because it's hotter than a mug. But um, I, I do have on my workout shirt. So I appear to be, you know, normal. But I will put my badge on, you know, before it's time to make a move. You know, you will know who I am. You know, you're not just going to think some guy's running up on you with a gun. Also, if I pull up in my car, you know what time it is, you know. Plus, it makes people think they can hide under the bed, and uh, I need some action for my videos. Uh, so, with that summing up uh, why I have a marked car and the benefits of having a marked car, uh, there are some benefits to having an unmarked car. I think I said those, too. Uh, but uh, for the most part, a uh, marked car is the way to go. I'm going to catch my guy regardless. Also, if you pull up, in a neighborhood with an unmarked car, especially a Charger, a Crown Vic, a Chevy Tower, these are the cars that police officers like to drive. Um, if you pull up in a neighborhood in those cars, man, they know who, exactly who you are. 5% tent, you don't have to have no words on that car. 5% tent, they know exactly who you And if you don't have 5% tent, that means they can see in the car, which means they can see the police officers in the car. Don't You know, uh, 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 you know, crew cut, uh, pull up in the neighborhood. Like, people know who stays in their neighborhood, what kind of people come in their neighborhood. So, yeah, if you have a guy pull up in the neighborhood with a black crown vet, tinted windows, they automatically assume police. Everybody gets the heck on. Everybody. So, if you pull up in a bounty hunter car, you have less people to run. Uh, more people will just be like, okay, he's a bounty hunter. More people be like, hey, he didn't bun me out, so uh, I ain't got to worry about it. That's the point of having that private contractor, too. Uh, so, let me check the trap real quick. Uh, Y'all see we load it, just in case. Let me check that trap real quick. All right, we ready to go. All right, so this nigga pulling in the yard. Day, bro. 
for taking the car, bro. Taking the car, however you want to do it, bro. All right, all right. I'm gonna check it, see? Uh, you back out, and then I'm, I'm going to follow you in this. Record me the whole time until we get away from him, in case he tries to do anything. You feel what I'm saying? That's great. Gotcha. Wait, my sister law has to be coming home. I said, nah, she ain't going to be out here tonight. She has to be coming through here. Okay, at this point of time, I'm driving this car. I'm going to get it back to the bonding company. And then he could either turn his brother in and work something out with them, which usually they don't do once they take the car. Or uh, it can just be ours. Or I can get first dibs at it if the bonding company don't want it. And then I'll just sell it. Go through this shit with you again, bro. Where the fuck is your brother at, bro? Blood and star, man. Listen, man. You already took my car, man. I'm not telling you nothing. I'm not giving you nothing. Ain't your, nigga, I take this motherfucking house, nigga. How about I give you some of this? How about I give you this? Look at this. Bro, listen, let me tell you, bro. Don't ever point no gun at me. You don't motherfucking use Mama it. Mama Cloud, boy, you think I'm gonna use this? Oh, hey, I'm broke. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Who else in the fucking house, nigga? Don't worry about it. Who else in the fucking house? Don't worry about it. Hey, where that back door? Go, go get the dog. He's back here. Sir, stop running. Don't let the dog go. Ah, man, get your dog. Man, get your dog. Oh, man, get your toes. My legs. Oh, you see it? 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 Mm -hmm. I'm a leg, man. Man, shut up, man. Come on, put your hand on you. We gotta take this nigga to Southern Regional right here. Damn, man. You shouldn't have ran. This dumb motherfucker wanna run. No, oh my god, no, please don't. Hey Chief, I got two. Yeah, I got the guy. Yeah, I got his, I got his brother too. He he pulled a pistol on me. Yeah, he think cause I guess cause it's his house. He pulled a pistol on me. He think he know all the laws. He think he know more than what I know anyway. So I'm gonna uh, have him book him, and press charges. He say his finger broke. Uh, his brother's leg hurt. I know the dog bit his leg kind of hard because he kept struggling. So I don't know what to do. Should I drop him off at Southern Regional? I, I mean, I don't want to miss the bond, so I mean, I sit there and wait. Okay. Let me know. Okay. All right, so my chief is going to make the phone call. 
We finna find out what we gonna do with these guys. I don't know if I'm gonna take them to intake like I usually do and let them take them to the hospital. Uh, I know they got a firmary, I don't know what that do. But uh, I ain't never been. But uh, either that or I'm gonna take them to uh, Southern Region. I'll sit there and wait. Cause I don't wanna call PD, and I, but I don't wanna deprive them of their rights and, they, uh, and, take the, uh, and wind up losing the bond again. I ain't gonna do that one. So yeah. Hey, can you stop? Can you hit his head against the window? Stupid. Can't nobody recording you. They can't even see through the window, damn it. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. She gonna bite you if you keep on. that over great perfect fine okay all right okay all right all right let's load up okay ladies and gentlemen as you see i'm at the jail I'm telling the officer I got these guys in the back. I'm a bounty hunter. They told me to bring them down here. They should have already called. The bunny company should have already called and faxed the information down there. He said, yeah, that guy right there been waiting on you the whole time. You late. And I told him, you know, I, I stuck in traffic. You know, it was a long way here. I got these two guys, you know, arguing with the dogs and the dog trying to bite them. Uh, he said, man, just go ahead and take them over there to him. And I was like, well, I just need to get my handcuffs off of them. And they can have them. Okay, hunters and hunterettes, what's going on? What's taking so long right now is I'm waking these guys up, putting them in a the police SUV, getting my handcuffs off of Because last time, the police kept my handcuffs. I had to go buy some new ones, trying to calm the dogs down at the same time. On action. That's all, folks. Cut. Hawkey. Could we just get a little bit of the stutter? Just a little bit of the stutter. That would be great. Yes, of course. This is a silly me. Not a problem. Ready? Action. The, 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 the